What's up guys, it's John Reeves Live and today we are continuing our journey of BTS solo releases and this is actually going to be an entire RM freaking takeover because our homie was busy during this period of time. I freaking love it. I think 2022 is one of the biggest years and now heading into 2023 next. Freaking massive for BTS solo releases and also just to let y'all know, we've got a new t-shirt on our shop. Boom! Link is in the description below. We've got it in English as well as Korean. Korean. So if you guys like the shirt, there is a link to our shop in the description below. There's a lot of cool shirts there as well, too. Either way, let's freaking get into this right now. If y'all are new to my channel, please smash that sub button and let's do this. Three, two, one, boom! That looks so beautiful. I love the view of this. So cool. Man, this video is just such a beautiful reflection of where I think like he wants to be at in life. It's just like kind of without cares, without expectations, without like that passion, what he's talking about there. He just wants something peaceful is what it feels like in just this first little part of this video. This is such a beautiful video though. I love this. <laughs> Such a beautiful part here. I love his lyrics here. When's this wretched mask finally gonna fall off? I'm no hero or villain. I'm hardly anything. I think he just wants to be completely void of responsibility or something like that for a certain extent. It feels like that's what burnout is, you know? I think this is burnout in a song form. Like, I don't know. Maybe I'm totally off wrong on that one, but it looks awesome. And I love the lyrics here. <laughs> That looks so freaking awesome. I love the way that looks. Someone, I'm sure they could have told him, Grace, what's in it? 
당신 옆에 건 아직 겨운 단 하나인 것처럼 다른 불꽃에서 들꽃처럼 손에 내서 영원으로 나의 황야 같은 하늘을 다 언젠가 나 되돌아가네 I love that scene. That is so cool. I love the duality of these two scenes. That is so... This whole music video has been just visually freaking eye candy the whole time. I think that's such a good music video. I think the, the visuals are really complimentary to what he's saying in the song. It just puts you in that mood of like just being in an open field and the freedom that comes from that and just like the carelessness and the lack of responsibility and just that freedom feeling. Like you just really can feel what he's trying to say in that music video. That's just my opinion on it. I'm pretty sure that he's talked about what this song means to him. So I might be vastly off, but from the looks of just the music video, that's what it looks like. Visually, he's doing a lot of really cool things here that I don't think that I've ever seen in another BTS or solo music video. For instance, using a lot of drone work on this, in and out of those fireworks, I thought that looked so cool. It looked awesome really putting you in the clouds, putting you above the clouds, putting you in the fireworks. Him in that really shallow water that he was standing in and the flower work above him looked beautiful and then him going back to the stage and saying i'll be back someday i feel like for me that's him saying like i'm gonna take this time i just want to be able to i don't know maybe even find out who he is now he might have already said something completely contrasting to that but that's what i'm getting from it please let me know y'all's thoughts in the comments below like if you haven't watched an interview or if you don't know what this song is already about what would you think that the music video and the lyrics were talking to you about this last one is a completely different vibe and i really love this song it's still life the music video freaking amazing let's get into that right now freaking swipe it it's such a catchy melody really quick before this song actually gets started was this shot before or after wildflower because like his hair's way shorter here, so I'm wondering if he's grown it out or he just cut it off. I don't know. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Yeah. I'm still alive. Yo. What? Oh yeah. I'm still alive. I love the beat to this song. It's such a feel-good beat. I'm still alive. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Now still alive, but I'm over. Your lip now gon' fall it. Yeah. Mark, you got a tongue word. It's such a freaking groove, man. I gotta say this too, like it makes me feel really happy to see this music video come on right after Wildflower because like it looked like Wildflower was in my opinion a very like doubtful song in my like just the way he looked at himself and this one feels a lot more like happy and motivated and I love this like this is just more of an empowering song and more of a confident song from him. Earth days my day one brother Baby not going to see got a bottle can a total and get you my neck be butter go bottle to the old line and mock some gutter transcend all of that better sang it to chunk away going get a chuggle nigga one and dead and twitch yeah not you part and go dali no more just had it in a net to get a hot man 
Living in high knob ghetto. Look at my tie tie ghetto. Quality is so you got numb. Little watch sadly in the body like that pop bevel. What you got so clean? Chain. Me better do it like you my sign. Oh, no, this is a top two to them. Y'all watch you to them, but I never stay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hey, Bob. What's up? You doing know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying, bro. Shit happens in life, but you know what happens is what happens. It's gonna be what's gonna be, bro. You just gotta do it. Yeah, come on. I'm still out. And he just feel it walking down the train, dude. I'm still out. Do it in. I'm still out. I'm still out. These are like his intrusive thoughts dancing around the train while he's just chilling. Yeah, I'm still out. But I'm all in. Just let now go forward. Yeah, mom, Juju, and the strong one. I'm still out, but I'm over. Just let me go forward. Yeah, mom, you got a strong one. Yo, I never stop, baby. Let's get it out. That was so good. I freaking love this video. Yes. So for me, that video looks a lot like his intrusive thoughts of like while he's on the train, just getting up and dancing and just having fun. Even though he's sitting there kind of like doodling or something like that, really in his mind, he's like, what if I just got up and start dancing on this train right now? That's like his intrusive thoughts acted out in this, in my opinion. That's what it looks like. Again, I think there's a more upbeat, more optimistic, empowered song of his and i love that and i think that it was a really cool thing about indigo i think that entire album just kind of captures all of the human experience because we all go through those things imposter syndrome self-doubt burnout like wondering what we're gonna do next just wanting to kind of be alone in a freaking wildflower field like we're all we've all been there and i think that we all also have had these moments where we're like i am a not something so easily framed you can't really picture me in this one thing i'm going to do whatever i want to at least i'm very much so like that i completely respect the fact that he has done so much with indigo i think that album was so underrated in my opinion i love that whole album i think that these two music videos kind of showed the duality of that album and it was beautifully done love these two music videos and i cannot wait to get into next week's i'm very excited about it and then 2023 ah we've got some crazy awesome music videos coming up hope you all are having a blessed day or night whatever time it is you're watching this spread some positivity out there be kind to each other and if anybody needs anything at all all of my socials are at john reeves live and if y'all want one of these t-shirts boom there's a link in the description below i'll catch y'all next time homies freaking toodles